work in a small Maasai community that is about 250 miles away of Nairobi in a place like our community. The girls are just prepared for marriage. As soon as she starts walking, she's sweeping the house, she's cooking for people, she takes care of other siblings. She's constantly doing what will make her a perfect mother. And at the time that they reach puberty, they are prepared actually for marriage. They undergo through the female genital cutting, which is a horrible uh, practice that happens to them. And after that, she is married. When they are 12, 13, some of them are even married when they are nine years old. I grew up in the community. I was engaged when I was five years old, was supposed to be married when I was 12, and I went through the female genital cutting. I understand what it is that girls will go through. And I knew that the very best thing that I could do for the girls in my village was to give them an education. We started our program by starting a boarding school. Bye-bye to milking cows in the morning. Bye-bye <laughs> to feeding everybody before you go to school. She would just take care of herself. My name is Joshua Said. I am in standard for welcome to our class. They are outperforming in the district. They are at the top. And people for the first time are focusing on the girls. Imagine, they've never known that female genital cutting is against the law. Now the girls are like, this is what is happening. I am not going to go through it. When you give girls information, vital information that they're not getting anywhere, they make the right choices. They make the right decisions. We need to tell that girl that your dream is not ending in marriage. It's ending in what you want to become.